Welcome. Hello everyone. We're gonna be hanging out here for a few minutes as people slowly trickle in. Someone can give me a wave, make sure you can hear me all right. Maybe a thumbs up so that way I know. Just nibbling on some of this, perfect, you hear that? Some of this produce from Big Marble Farms. Troubleshooting, make sure we can start this fairly promptly. As long as you can see that clock, you will know what you've signed up for. Couple minutes before we get started here, get yourself a comfortable spot. A yoga mat will be about as much space as you need. This is a bit of an oversized yoga mat, but all body weight today. I'll be repeating some of this as you come in. Hey, Barb. How's everyone doing? Hello, Janet. Almost ready to get started. For those of you just coming in, grab yourself. Well, if you have a mat, that's all you'll need. You don't even need it. It's really gonna be more about comfort. I'll get through this explanation briefly here. As long as you can see that clock, you'll know what you're about to get yourself into. Well, at least if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, you know how long you'll be into it. Hello from South Africa. Hello everyone. Okay, well, let's just get introductions here. My name is Greg Hetherington. I am the owner and founder of a strength and conditioning studio in Toronto, Ontario, Canada called Fuel Training Club. And like many of you watching, you've probably participated in a virtual workout. Here's another one. What I'm gonna be getting into is something we call Fuel Light. And Fuel Light is to essentially help you unsit yourself. For all of you who are sitting at a desk, this is a great 30 minutes to break up your day. We're gonna work on ungluing all of those sit muscles that are tightening up when you're sitting down and strengthening the postural muscles. So this is gonna be for all abilities, scalable for all abilities. It's gonna be interval format. We go 30 seconds per movement. We're gonna flow through each one. You go at your own pace. If you wanna rest, stop after 10 seconds, 15 seconds, that's fine. I'll continue to cue you as I move through this workout. So you're in safe hands, don't worry about that. Now, what I want to make sure 
that you are all aware of is if you have any pre-existing injuries, okay, anything that hurts, just stop, modify it if you need to, but you can follow along with me. So welcome. Well, we're going through Impact Magazines and for, for us, the top, I'm one of the top fitness instructors. I feel kind of bad saying that, That's <laughs> talking about myself, but I was nominated. That's my relationship with Impact Magazine. It's been a extremely helpful experience uh, for us in the industry right now, having awareness and having a platform to pass on what it is that we do has been really important. So I want to thank Impact Magazine for that as well. We are going to be going through what's called Impact Magazine's Weekly Sweat Across Canada. And this is brought to you by Big Marble Farms. And I've got a good story about Big Marble Farms, but I imagine if you're on here, you probably eat vegetables. If you don't, it's still a good story. So Big Marble Farms, largest greenhouse in Western Canada. They, I was able to get them here. They have them available at Sobeys, Loblaws, Costco's in certain regions. So you can access this anywhere. I think especially, so when this came in, I got excited because tomatoes aren't in season. Tomatoes from the vine are not in season. And by the time I came back for dinner, they were already being made in dinner. And I had already taken some cucumbers and one of my favorite snacks, cucumbers and hummus. So before I even got a chance to, you know, tell everyone about it, I had to consume it. So for me, important that fresh produce, of course, but seasonal produce, being able to get produce that isn't always, well, we're in Canada, so let's be real here. Okay, we've got a very short growing season, but even tomatoes, being able to have those 365 days per year, always fresh. This is something for me, I think is important as well. And it's not just the fitness industry, but everyone in the health and wellness industry, getting awareness and being able to see what's out there. And a lot of people don't think of being able to farm produce in Canada 365 days a year, but Big Marble Farms does that. Encourage you guys to check them out. This toque will probably come out after a couple minutes. Actually, who's, what am I kidding? 30 seconds. It's warm, not really here in Toronto. I know you're coming from all over, but we're gonna start to warm you guys up. So uh, one other thing I want you, there's a, if you guys are going to, if you like prizes, okay, if you put your comments about Impact Magazine, Sweat Across Canada, you'll have a chance to win a prize pack from Big Marble Farms. And you too can eat these vine, these, these, tomatoes off the vine before they even get onto your countertop. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into this workout here. Again, follow along, go at your own pace. More importantly, have fun. 30 seconds per, and we're gonna go through this. So at your own pace, we're gonna start off with a warm up, and this warm up will just gently, gently gear you up into some of our strength work. So we're gonna be, now again, when I say strength work, we're gonna be doing all body weight here. So for this body weight workout, go at your own pace, all abilities, let's get started. All right, so first part, let me zoom in on this. We are gonna start off in a flexion extension. So right on your hands and knees, and just begin flexing, extensing, extending through the spine, up, and down, up, and down. Okay, nice and easy. And 30 seconds, so that's gonna be your cue. You can't see that clock, I'll be cueing you, but nice and easy. Let's go through this gently. Find those end ranges. First part here, now we're moving on to the next part. Dropping the hips down, over and back. Nice and long through the spine, I want to drop those hips down, over and back. Keep the hands down on the ground. Keep your hips over top of your knees. Get on an angle here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm dropping those hips down, over and back, over and back. Okay, next part, we're going to go into a table rock. So I want you to pay attention to your forearms here. We're going to be doing some work from the wrists. So it's important we warm these up. Shoulders coming forwards, loosening up through the forearms, back and forth, getting some of that pressure into the shoulders too, but I want you to get those wrists stable. Separate those fingers as much as you can. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, because we're gonna be loading up after this. Knees are coming off of the ground, going into what's called a loaded beast. From this loaded beast, I wanna step, forwards, and then I'm gonna reach up, the hand that the foot just replaced, I wanna rotate, hand comes back down, 
back into that loaded beast. Arms overhead, step forwards, rotate. Okay, we're just gonna go through this gently. You can speed this up if you want a little more heat or you slow it down, you want a little more stretch, reach up. And now we're gonna continue this, the knees off the ground. We wanna go what's through, called a beast wave and unload. I wanna get some extension through the spine, look up the ceiling, tuck the chin, round the spine, hips come up nice and high, heels come down, but knees off the ground, and then one more time through here. Continue, extend, tuck the chin, one more time back, and down, good. Next part on this one, we wanna step forwards into almost a 90-90 or pigeon position, and then back in the loaded beast, come forwards, 90-90 pigeon, feel that stretch, the outside of the hip, step, dropping that hip down, back, Dropping that hip down. Okay, continue. Getting that four, that four left. Come forwards, inchworm out, and then back up. Okay, inchworm out. Saw that jumped out there for a second. So let's continue at the top. And now shoulder circles. Big circles. Palms up and back. I want you to continue these circles here. Keep moving. Big circles, getting them bigger, higher. And now we're gonna hinge from this hinge position. Pull, elbows down, press up. Pull the elbows down, press up. I'm offsetting my weight, my chest and hips come back as my arms come up. Chest and hips forwards as my arms come down. Think about pulling those elbows right down by your side. Elbows, right down. Three, two, one. Now, walk out, we're coming back down to the ground now. We're gonna start to work on warming up upper body a little bit more. Forearms, press up, through your hands. Okay, continue this for 30 seconds. Continue on. I'm gonna have to keep jumping in every 30 seconds. So you gotta keep moving here. Make sure we don't lose this speed. Keep moving. Good. Now we're gonna go back into a squat. So holding on to this passive squat and then walk out into a plank. Okay, from here, walk back, passive squat, walk out into a plank. Keep it going. Walking back, passive squat. Walking forwards into a plank. Okay, almost done here. Sinking down in the squat. For those of you who can't hold that squat, okay, let's walk out here. You have an opportunity to continue doing that squat. I want to jump forwards. Now into that squat. I put the hands down, back out, and then jump forwards into the squat. Keep it going. On the plank. Hop forwards, into the squat. Plank, into the squat. Almost on the warm up. And relax, good. Shaking out the legs, we're gonna go into our next part now. So the next part, we're gonna be going continually through this as well, but we're gonna go through four full rounds. We're gonna be going through four different movements. Follow along, we're gonna be doing the same format, 30 seconds say not 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Okay, in each one, we're gonna transition, go at your own pace. I'll jump up every once in a while, make sure the speed is still going, but here we go. Carrying on, blast off push up. So blast off push up. We're gonna go chest down, knees off the ground, and back. Chest down, knees off the ground, and back. Now modification, knees on the ground, push back. Arms overhead. Remember, we're just trying to unsit here. We're not getting into high impact, high intensity. Just wanna go back and forth. Carry that on. Carry that on. Chest and back. Keep going. Rest if you need to. Carry on. Getting a little bit eager today. 
Six, five. All right, next part, going into a deep lunge. Pulse, pulse in this lunge. So I'm pulsing, holding on. Continue to pulse here. We want to work on opening up that back. Okay, the back hip we're working on right now. So the front of that back hip, pulse. If you need to come up higher, get some of the pressure off the quads, that's fine. We want to get that hip active here. So hip is active, pulsing. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Shake it off. On to the other side. Okay, so pulse. Again, we're working on the back hip right now, opening up those muscles where you're usually folded, sitting down, open right up. Pulse, up and down. If you're feeling this too much in your quad and you want a little bit more of the stretch, just come up a little bit higher. Take the onus off the quad. If you want more of that burn, get a little bit lower. Keep going. Another eight, seven, Six, five, two, one. Going to the next one, side kick. So we go into our beast position and I want to kick out to the side. So I want to rotate it a little more technical here. Beast position, I lift up one arm, opposite leg, kicks out. Back into that beast, kick out. Okay, taking your time. If you want to go a little bit faster, a little bit faster, but take your time here. Keep kicking out. 10 seconds. Keep it going. All right, dolphin pike. From your forearms, I want chest down, press up, and extend. Chest down, press up. Okay, if you need to do a modification from the knees, I want to press up and back down. Press up and back down. So this push-up, good for developing core strength. We also want to loosen up through the lats. So feel that stretch at the top. Okay, feel that stretch at the top. Triceps might hurt just a bit. Pressing up, continue. Chest down and down. All right, and then we're holding the squat. Nice and low. Hold that squat. And okay, this last part here, right in the bottom of the squat. This is the last exercise before we repeat. So holding on to this passive squat. For those of you still trying to get comfortable in this position, call it the Netflix position. That's how long you watch TV, how long you hold this squat. Drive the knees out, pry them open with your forearms. Holding on to it. If you need to stand up in between, go ahead, stand up in between. Six, five, four, going back to the top. We're going back to that blast off push up. Here we go. Chest, back, arms overhead, chest down, arms overhead. Keep those knees off the ground. Modification though, knees on the ground, push back. Knees on the ground, push back. Okay, keep moving. If you want to make this more mobility, use those knees. More strength, go from the feet. Seven. Six, five, four, back and forth. Okay, let's go into our pulse. Step forwards, coming up, lower harder, higher is easier. Pulse, again, this is not, we're not trying to burn out the quads. We're trying to open up through the hips. So pulse there, pulse. Keep that pulse going. As you pulse, I want you to pay attention to how you are opening the hip. Don't hyperextend. Okay, I want to keep my torso vertical. Pulse. Six, five, come up higher if you need to. Two, one, switch sides. On that other side, again, focus on that hip. Yes, you can make your, your quads burn here. The goal is to open up the hip. Right, we're doing the opposite right now with that hip that we're doing when you're sitting. So this is our focus. You need to get up higher because that quad's burning, do it. No shame, no judgment in this workout here. Mobility work. 
Unsit yourself. 12, 11, 10. Keep pulsing, keep the hips up. Going down to the upper body in four, three, two. Here we go, come down. Side kick. So kick the leg out, kick the leg out. I'm lifting up the same, the hand, opposite foot, back and forth. Keep it going. Fifteen more seconds. And pull that other elbow up. Increase that tension across the chest. All right, sit in the squat. Let's go hanging out down here. Okay, if you need some help, you can hold on to something. If you need to stand up out of this every once in a while, that's fine too. Okay, so keep that squat position. So I'm holding down. I wanna try and keep those knees over top of the pinky toes. Okay, knees over top of the pinky toes. So I'm holding on. I'm gonna go back and forth. Okay, circles around the ankle. I'm using my arms to pry the knees open. We got one more round. We're coming back to the top shortly here. Oh, I forgot. We got one last one. I forgot one. We got the dolphin pike. How could I forget? Everyone's favorite. Forearms, so plank position, chest down to the hands. Extend, feel that stretch through the lats. Chest down, extend. Okay, you want more mobility? Hold this position longer, more strength. Do more reps. Keep it going. Our workout, running back and forth here. Chest down. Next time we'll do the squat last. We're gonna go right from this into blast off. Push ups. Okay, so from your hands, knees or feet, push, and then back in the loaded beast. Push, loaded beast or from the knees. Push, Lord of Beast. Keep going. Okay, modification, knees, back. Knees, back. Keep going. 12 seconds. Knees off the ground. Slow it down if you need to, take rest if you need to. We're up into our pulse. Okay, going into that hip flexor pulse. So get a little bit closer here, focusing on that back hip. Okay, that back hip. If I'm feeling too much in the quad, I'm gonna come up a little bit higher. I'll come up a little bit higher, but feel that pulse in the back hip. Okay, pulse, pulse, opening up. Let's pry those hips open, especially if you've been sitting all morning. 14. 13, keep pulsing, higher if you need to. I know the quads burn a little bit. Keep going in four, three, two, one. All right, slip over on the other side. Pulse, pulse. Okay, continue to pulse here. Work on that hip, not so much the quad. Okay, not so much the quad. As I pulse, I want to make sure I'm extended. Okay, I'm fully extending the hip. So I'm loosening up through the hip. Continue to pulse. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Back to that side kick. So we're getting down to the ground. Side kick. Okay, what we really want, we what really want to do here is work on the shoulder. Okay, your shoulder is rotating in the socket. So don't rush through this if you don't have that stability yet. We want to avoid the shoulder coming up to the ear. Keep that shoulder away from the ear. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. Keep moving through this. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Three, two, one. All right, dolphin, pike, here we go. Push up. 
Chest down. Right to the hands. Chest down. Press up. Chest down. Press up. If you need to go from the knees, go from the knees. But we want to get that stretch, right? Arms, lats, chest down, press up. There you go. Keep going. Feet if you need to, or feet if you want to. Knees if you need to. Two, one. All right, into the squat. Hanging out here. Last part here, then we're moving on to our finale. So hanging on into this squat. Right, 40 seconds in a squat. Really, unless you've got some underlying hip, knee, ankle issues. Okay, you should be able to do this. Work towards getting down to this squat position. But right on your heels, knees over top of the pinky toes. We're only 20 seconds in. Okay, for those of you now where this becomes a struggle, good area of opportunity. All right, improve on this here. Just breathe nice and easy here. We're transitioning to some core work afterwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, standing up, shaking out. All right, now we're going into our final part. So we've got a little core routine we're gonna go through here. We're gonna go through three full rounds, follow along. Make sure I don't give you the full 30 on this one. We're gonna get through 30 seconds each set. Make sure, if you can, try and stay up the whole time, but if you need to go down, that's fine. We're gonna start first with a side plank and a knee to elbow. So from the side plank position, I wanna hold this knee to elbow. Here we go, 30 seconds, knee to elbow. Now modification, you can put your knee down, but I wanna get that knee to elbow. Fully extend those hips, knee to elbow. Okay, maintain this position, knee to elbow. 30 full seconds. Fully extend overhead and the knee comes to the elbow. Keep it going. Three, two, one. No need to go down. Flip over the other side. Flip over the other side. Straight up and over. From the knees if you need to. Okay, so if it's from the knees, extend the hips. Arm, knee to elbow. Drive, keep the hips forwards. Don't let those hips sag on you. If you're in the side plank, it'll stay there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into a front plank. Okay, so from the forearms here, and from this front plank, I wanna bring knee to forearm. Knee to forearm. Okay, and we do this from the forearms, force you to crunch a little bit more. Okay, the climber from the hands, I don't know if I wanna call it easy, but it's easier to get your knee to your, your forearm or knee to your upper arm in this position, much harder. Modification, okay, we're going knees, from the knees, pressing. Okay, or so push, get that knee right in. And relax here, sort of, let's go onto your back. Hollow, hold. So hollow position, what we wanna work on is your low back being flat on the ground. So that low back, low, low back flat on the ground, I wanna make sure that it does not round. Shoulders are up to make it tougher, I can extend my legs. Okay, as I extend my legs, I lengthen that lever, it makes it tougher. Easier bent, tougher straight, but keep that low back flat. Shoulders off the ground. All right, flip over, last one. For this core, we're going arch hold. So the opposite, all right? A little bit like the penguins skating around here. Keep those shoulders and chest off the ground. Try and get those thighs up. I'm pointing the toes, straightening the knees. I'm not hyperextending the back. I just want to squeeze the glutes, get that chest off the ground. Okay, so promise the penguin part here. I want to rock. If you can rock up and down, we're going to come back to it because we've got two more rounds. All right, back to the top. Round two, forearm. Holding on to this plank, right in the side plank position, and then knee to elbow. Knee, elbow. Keep moving. Modification from the knee. See if you can stay up this whole time. Keep going. 
Now I flip over, no need to go down, no need to go down. I'm going knee to elbow, reach. Modification, knee is down the ground, but don't let those hips sag on you. Keep those hips forwards, knee comes to the elbow. Only do that if you have to. 12, 11, last 10 seconds. And if you're finding you just want to hold that plank, that's fine too. That'll help prevent you getting too lazy. Good, now we go back down to a front facing plank. In that plank position, knee comes to the forearm. Knee comes to the forearm. Knee to the forearm. Good. Hollow. Hold. So get on your back. Point the toes. Chest is up. Hold that position. Hold it. Now if you want to add a little more spice, you can rock. Make it easier. Bring your knees in. But keep that low back flat on the ground. Okay? I want to be active. Chest is up. Shoulders are up. Stay engaged for five, four, three, two. Flip over on your stomach. Arch hold. So this arch hold position, okay, we worked on the hold. If you want to add in the rock, go ahead add the rock, but you need to stay engaged. Glutes, you're on. They're squeezed, chest off of the ground. Well, man, chest off the ground. But get up as high as you can, squeeze the glutes. Point those toes. Keep it going. All right, last round here. Right through the top. Let's see if we can hang on the whole time. Almost done. Side plank. Knee to elbow. Side plank. Knee to elbow. Keep it going. If you need mud, knees. But keep those hips forwards. One. Flip over. No need to go down. Okay, mod from the knee. Knee to the elbow. Knee to the elbow. Don't rest if you don't have to. It's my excuse. Crawling over, say hello to everyone. Keep it going, two, one. On your back. Oh, I lied. Forearms, let's go knee. Touching that upper arm. Okay, it's okay to be up a little bit higher. I'm hollow, all right, that's what I want. I want that knee to come right to that upper arm. Get that extra crunch in. Knee, upper arm. Okay, mod from the knees. Try to get that up. big crunch. Okay, you're gonna really engage through the core. Now you're on your back. Now we're in our hollow hold. Last one of these holds. Okay, add a rock if you want, or hold. Make it easier. Bring your knees into your chest. Knees into your chest. Chest is up. Holding on. This is easy. This is hard. This is hardest. What do you want to do right now? Just try to stay up. Okay, if you want to stay up, put your hands on your knees, hold on. Two, one, last one here. Arch, hold, flip over onto your stomach. Thighs off the ground, chest up high. Hang on to it. Make, make sure you breathe, don't hold your breath here. You don't want to hold your breath. Because it's, let's face it, this is not really a normal position to be in. Okay, I'm gonna rock if I can. Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good. Well, do you feel like you accomplished a little bit more than sitting? I hope so. A little bit sweaty, depending on how fast you went. Okay, so Fuel Light, that's what this program's called designed to help you unsit yourself. I want to thank Big Marble Farms, providing the produce. I want to thank Impact Magazine Canada, providing the platform. My name is Greg Hetherington. I'm the owner and founder at Fuel Training Club. You can find us in the interweb. It's a wonderful place. Great work team. 
You can get a hold of me if you're angry at greg.hetherington. Or if you're not angry, you can just say hi. I'm generally pretty friendly. Where is this? You think this? So the artwork, I didn't notice this at first. You know, what kind of produce manufacturer thinks about artwork, right? Well, Big Marble Farms does. Okay, these tomatoes, there's two left. John, I think there were six when it started. The cucumbers between the salads and the cucumbers and hummus. Quick snacks, easy to make. Where's Ben? <laughs> That's right, you know, ben, Janet, I don't know how you know Ben, but for those of you wondering who Ben is, he's my dog. Um, he's probably sleeping, to be honest. I should have brought him in. I didn't even, to, I actually think when I do my classes, people do not come to work out with me. They come simply because of my dog. Case in point, Janet, you didn't say hi to me. You just said, where's Ben? I want to see Ben. I get it. Don't worry. I get it. It's like when you have kids, right? All of a sudden, you know, you don't get presents anymore. No one says hi to you. They'll walk up to you. They'll just look at your kid. Hey, how you doing? You'll end up, it's like your, your translator, right? They'll have conversations with the kid while talking to you. <sighs> All right. I'm going to sign off here. Thank you everyone for joining. See you later. Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, unfortunately there's no, I'm in my garage. So I've trans, I've, I've created this gym in my garage now. Let's see if I can show you. See, there's actually storage up there and there's lights, you know, a squat rack, nice folding squat rack, lots of kettlebells. That's typically what we do. My skier, rower, you know, if there's one thing, some people wanted an office during this pandemic. I guess this is an office. This is an office for me. Solid work. All right. Take care.